sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I got some free agency news, particularly for the Bears, free agency and trade information. Um, first for the Bears, let's get the Bears out of the way. Uh, a day or two ago they signed Jimmy Graham to a uh, very lucrative contract, which is probably more money than he's worth um, based on the last few years. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! He's been uh, kind of on the downward slope, and the Bears are getting him right near the bottom of the hill. I don't know why, but, I mean, they needed a tight end, but they needed somebody who was still a good tight end. I don't know if Jimmy Graham really qualifies as that. But the bigger news is that we traded with the Jaguars, or are in the process of trading with the Jaguars, to get Nick Foles. Basically, well, definitely because Trubisky sucked last year. Now, um, there's a lot of things that are unclear about this deal. Like, first... Um, are the Jaguars going to eat any of the money that um, Nick Foles is owed? Are the uh, Bears going to work out a restructuring of his deal? Because he's owed, I think, $21 million guaranteed. So the Bears may want to work out some kind of a restructuring of that money so that it's not so much, you know, so much so quickly. I don't know. So we'll see what they do about that. And then, if they acquire Nick Foles, will he compete with Trubisky for the starting job? Will he be given the starting job? Or is he being brought in solely as an expensive backup quarterback because Chase Daniel also sucks? So, we're going to see what happens with that. Um, I tend to lean towards there's going to be a competition in camp between the two of them and whoever's better is going to get the job uh, because the Bears have expressed their um, support in the past and in the recent past of Trubisky. So uh, it would be a bad optic if they brought Foles in and just gave him the starting job. But the behind-the-scenes thought might be, yes, they're going to compete against each other for the starting job, but we fully expect Foles to get it. So, we'll see. Now, um, as I reported yesterday, uh, um, Brady is not coming back to the Patriots, and in fact, it looks definitely like he's going to the Buccaneers. Uh, I don't know if they've signed the contract yet. I don't know the details of the contract, but it definitely looks like he's going to the Buccaneers. So there's that. So right now, the Patriots only have the uh, young guy that they drafted a year or two ago. I forget his name. It's a very forgettable name. But that's the only guy they've got really right now. So... It's expected that the Patriots will be looking for a free agent quarterback, of which there are still a couple on the market. One is Dalton, and um, the other is the um, the uh, Carolina, ex-Carolina um, quarterback, because Carolina also has signed Bridgewater. So there, Bridgewater is going to be the new quarterback in um, in Carolina. So um, we'll have to see how that all works out. Rivers is going to um, the Colts, and so I'm guessing that that leaves the Chargers without a quarterback right now too. Um, so yeah. A lot of moving parts, a lot of free agency stuff happening. Also, Stefan Diggs was traded by Minnesota to the Bills. And the Bills have very good reason to want to make some deals to improve because now you've got a, a less dangerous New England Patriots team in that division. So... Um, 
Yeah. So there's a lot of a lot of moving parts, a lot of players going a lot of different places. We'll have to see where Dalton lands. Um, we'll have to see who ends up with who at quarterback. But right now the Bears look like they have a new quarterback and a new tight end, who are really an old quarterback. Well, not old. He's 31, but and an old tight end, and maybe he's not even really old either. But he is on the downward slope. So we're going to have to see how all of that works out for the Bears. I mean, Jimmy Graham was probably better than what they had at tight end. And, um, and I think Nick Foles is an upgrade over um, Trubisky. But, I mean, he's not a big name. He's not a, like, you know, he's not going to throw for 50,000 yards. So... If you're thinking that you're gonna, you've got like one of the great quarterbacks of our time, you don't. But he should be an upgrade over Trubisky. He won't make as many mistakes. He won't get rattled as easy. And the Bears also, I mean, they have a good defense, and they keep adding to that defense, and they keep uh, strengthening that defense. So um, it may just be a matter of, hey, we just want a quarterback that isn't going to make a lot of mistakes and can manage the game and get us, you know, two touchdowns and we can win 14 to, you know, 14 to 10 or something. So we'll see if that's, uh, if that's what's going to happen. So, um, so yeah, there's some free agency news. There's probably a lot more going on and, it's expected that uh, today and maybe the next uh, couple of days will be even bigger free agency stuff going on. The NFL going crazy with this free agency period, so we'll have to see what happens. But yeah, I mean, the Bears with Nick Foles and Jimmy Graham, hopefully that helps. Um, I think it should. Um, but, you know, the Vikings have gotten better and the um and the and the Packers are still the Packers they're still the defending uh um NFC North champions so we'll have to see how that works out but that's what I got right now um oh yeah Cam Newton that's the guy Cam Newton is still out there and uh yeah Caroline is gonna um, part ways with him uh because they brought in Bridgewater as I said. So we'll see where Cam Newton lands too. Um, so that's, um, yeah, and that Colts quarterback um, is now the old, I mean, the old, uh, the previous Colts quarterback, he'll probably be sent somewhere uh, packing too because he's a little too expensive to be a backup to Rivers. So yeah, there's a lot of there are a lot of moving pieces that still need to land somewhere, and we'll see where they all land. But for right now, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.